everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Um, we made the best of it, even though we got, um, I, I wouldn't even call it a blizzard where I'm at. Buffalo, New York really got the blizzard. We were, were pretty lucky to escape what Buffalo got. So thank you to all of you for um, emailing me and commenting and um, checking on um, myself and my family. Uh, we're all we're all fine and we were still able to get together for the holidays because of the fact that my mom and brother are just on the next block and Jessica's husband drives a big F-150 truck which will go through just about anything. So uh, thank you to all of you for your, your thoughts and your concern. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. Um, but with that being said, I've got a pretty big haul here from Goodwill. And again, a small um, haul from Salvation Army. What I may do, depending on how long it takes me to go through the Goodwill stuff, I may um, do the Salvation Army stuff separately. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But whoops, I'm, I'm already breaking stuff, guys. Yes, we are doing a living room floor thrift haul today because I just didn't feel like lugging it all in the kitchen, and you know, so yeah, it's a lazy day today. So I'm very glad to be back. Um, I look forward to um, doing this thrift haul for you guys. So let's get started. I spent, wow, I spent a lot. My mother was with me on this trip and her eyeballs popped out of her head. <laughs> $197. Without my discount, I would have spent, uh, let's see. How much did I save? Where is my discount? Oh, I saved $67.57. Yeah, so I would have been up in like the 260s or thereabouts, give or take. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me start with some small things. I got this Thomas Kincaid um, tree ornament and uh, you would put one of your tree lights inside of it to light it up. It's gorgeous. It's from 1997 and I just thought it was so beautiful. I had to grab it. Look at this, you guys. Can you imagine how beautiful that's going to be with um, a light in it from the Christmas tree? That is going to be stunning. Maybe what I'll do is I will try and um, put a light, you know, light it up for you guys and put a picture at the end of the video if I manage to, to do it. So that is a beautiful ornament. And it's got all of its... Um, paperwork in the box in the box okay next I got this awesome set of pioneer woman measuring cups you've got your full cup we've got the half cup look how cute these are omg there's your cup half a cup, your, uh, what is this one? One third cup and your quarter cup. These are adorable. I had to pick these up. I'm having a hard time not keeping these because I do have a set of her mixing bowls that my son-in-law bought me quite a few years back. Unfortunately, one of them cracked and I had to throw it out, but I love these. They're awesome. I also found another Christmas tree napkin holder. 
However, this one does have a chipper Rooney. We can touch that up though, y'all know, right? Plus it's on the inside and your napkins would hide it anyway. But yes, this is beautiful. Um, it is initialed MMM, but there is no date on it. So there is that. I also got, my mom found this, this adorable cookie jar. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? And I think you could get away with this for for the whole winter season because there's no Christmas trees or anything on it. I mean, there's a candy cane, but so. <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful. No cracks, no chips. Uh, it is made by Hallmark. And I love it. I'm glad my mom said, oh, go look at that cookie jar over there. My poor mom, I wore her out. She went home and took a nap. <laughs> then I got this beautiful hand-painted, um, I think it's hand-painted. Did I see a signature? Maybe not, but it's still beautiful. This pretty little bowl with the, um, the pretty cutouts or reticulated edging. Got that. You guys... This is a gobel. And I I have to do some research on this. Um, look at. Isn't she gorgeous? She's gobel. Wait, I got it upside down. Uh-oh, why are we not focusing? Oh, listen to my stomach, you guys. Why is this not focusing? MJ Hummel. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what the issue is. But anyways, she is gorgeous. Woo, hot flash too. Oh my gosh, and I got on a sweatshirt. This is why I don't normally wear sweatshirt, guys. Because when I get a hot flash, I just want to rip all my clothes off. Yes. This was bought for me by my buddies, Randy and Kathy Grasscloss. They live in Florida. Oh, my goodness. I'm dying. Um, I got this to upcycle. This is just a little um, sign. Primitives by Kathy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm just going to do a little upcycle on that. I, I started buying a lot of wood stuff um, for crafting. Woo-wee! Holy shizzle. Oh, let me take a break, have a sip of my coffee. Whew. All right. I got this beautiful set of Libby glasses. And let me just tell you that these are all in perfect condition. They don't even look like they were ever used. Look how gorgeous those are. These would be, um, you know, I would say these are like six ounce glasses. And there are five of them. And they are all in perfect, like, mint condition i don't use mint condition often but these are so those i had to pick up okay now this is the second piece of blue mountain pottery that i found that is fish related i found a dolphin and now i found i think this might be like a flounder but it is Blue Mountain Pottery, guys. I didn't know they made, like, um, uh, aquatic stuff. And it's in perfect condition. No chips. Oops, wait a minute. There's a tiny, teeny, tiny little boo-boo right there that, that no one will ever notice. I can't even believe this. How cool. 
I was like, oh my God, look at that. I got a couple of handmade ceramic pieces. They are Halloween and they are stinking adorable. Y'all know my fetish with ghosts. I just can't help myself. Look at these. Are these dated? No, they're not dated, but they are initialed PW. <laughs> Look at, he's got a Buddha belly. How cute are these? OMG. <laughs> oh, I love them. I love them. <laughs> Okay, these are awesome. Um, I also bought this. Um, these look like they're brand new. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name. Well, maybe I will. Uroru. Uroru. Um, food containers. Um, and they're called a bento box. And let me show you them. These are gorgeous. There's two in here, right? Look at. And they latch together. That's how you take the lid off. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let me take off this one. And it comes with a handle and utensils. These would be wonderful for someone that brings lunches to work. Oh my gosh, these are so awesome. Wow. How nice. These are brand new, guys. They were never used. Beautiful. And they just snap together. Um, I also bought this big bag of candles. And of course, I can't open it. It's taped shut. Let me see. Ah, I got it. I haven't lost all of my strength yet. Oh my gosh. We've got Yankee Candle. We've got Autumn Wreath Tea Lights. Oh my God, I opened the bag and it smells so lovely. Uh, more autumn leaf. I think there's three boxes of those. Oh no, this one is cinnamon stick. Then we got clean cotton. And these are pretty much um, just about full. Let me see. Well, some of them fell out in the bag. That's what happened. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this these are like full boxes, guys. Oh, my gosh. They smell so amazing. Oh, here's the other one that goes in there. Then this one is Lavender Vanilla. Oh, and then there was a couple of uh, a couple candle holders in here as well. Just plain glass candle holders. And then there are some here that didn't have a box. So what are these? These smell good. These blue ones. There's about how many? One, two, three, four, five, seven of these blue ones and a couple of these green ones with no box oh my gosh so this whole bag was $7.99 less 25 percent so I got a ton of candles which y'all know I use when people buy tea lights and stuff from me so you guys have um, a candle to put in it when you get it. And so, yes, I was very happy to find that bag. So, there is that. Um, put these over there. It's time.
time for a sip. Have a sip. Have a sip, guys. Okay. Then I got these. I just thought these were really pretty. These pretty clear glass taper candle holders. And I'm actually right by my taper candles. I could stick one in here and just kind of show you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they got to be washed up. They have like wax on them and everything. They'll be sparkly once I wash them up. And I also got these. So let me say, for Christmas Eve, we had dinner at my house. And that's the first time we've had Christmas dinner at my house ever. Because we usually always have Christmas at my mom's house. So I was trying to find some candle holders for, the, for my table. And like, I didn't have any. Because I sell them all. <laughs> so I went into my inventory and I found a single candle holder to put on my table. So I did find these. These are beautiful. So I might keep these for me. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but I would like to I would like to find myself a couple of elegant depression glass candle holders with the beautiful um uh, floral design on it, you know, like the orchids and stuff. So if I do find a set of those, I will probably keep those for myself and sell these. We'll see what happens with that. But I'll probably just sell these and hold out for um, a set of elegant depression glass um, candle holders. Okay, um, then I found these amazing vintage pictures. Here's the back, and it is there's a pair of them. This is the other one. These are beautiful. Look how, look how, those are old frames there, guys, for sure. These are probably from the 40s. They're beautiful. And I do have a picture similar to this that I bought from Crafty Jackie um, at one of her sales that's hanging in my um, hallway. Um, so these actually would go with that. I if. And then, oh my God, yesterday, guys, I went out. It was Tuesday yesterday. Um, I went to um, Salvation Army was still closed because of the, the weather. They never got anybody to clean the parking lot. So um, I went to Goodwill and I found a, a large pair of pictures like this, but not oval. They were, you know, like a rectangular frame. OMG. So, yeah. All right. Then I got this, but it doesn't work. I mean, the lights don't work in it. I got this. I was going to get it for Winnie. Um, it's a lullaby light show, but for some reason, the lights don't work. The music does. Um, I'm wondering if the um, the light on the inside needs to be changed. So I'm going to have to um, open it up and see because I do have some of those um, these lights for like fiber optic decorations and stuff. So if it's the same light, I might be able to fix it. If not, I'm just going to, you know, re-donate it or something. But it is what it is. Um, I also found another thing of candles. These are pine-scented uh, candles. So I picked that up. A whole box of brand new pine-scented candles. Um, these are wonderful. Wonderful for the holiday season. And then I got this. I am going to do something else with this. This beautiful tray with the letter G on it. It's very, very nice. So I picked that up. This is brand new. I don't think it was ever used, like seriously. 
So, yep, I got that. Um, I got this for myself. I'm going to put this in my office. Um, of course, I, I love orchids, but they are very hard to grow. Um, I'm going to take these ugly plastic flowers out because they look like crap. They, they really bring it down, you know, it, like, look at, much better. <laughs> so I got that for me. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Take another sip. <laughs> Take a bathroom break. Have a snack. All right. I got these two Halloween pillows. They are so cute. Look at these, guys. <laughs> How cute are those? Oh, I love them. Too cute. They go with that other one I bought that's, I think it's orange background and it says boo all over it in black or yeah, that it is. Orange background and boo and black. These would go amazing with that pillow. That's why I got them. I could sell it as a three-piece set. Or I could just keep it for myself. <laughs> All right. So, let me just drag some of this stuff over here. Ugh. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Somebody made him. He is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not going to give it to Winnie because she's got so many toys. You know, she doesn't need any more toys. So I will definitely sell this cute little guy. Little elephant. <laughs> Hey, Fritzy, my boy. All right. Um, then I got uh, these brand new twin sheet set. Mickey Mouse. These are brand new. They were originally from Kohl's. They were $60. Six zero. $60. Holy crap. Listen, sheets are expensive as all get out. I bought my mother two sets of sheets for Christmas. I'm telling you, full size. Full size sheet sets, like sixty dollars for twin size, I think is highway robbery. For the full size, I paid seventy five dollars a set. Yeah, I mean, what are they? Are what are they made with? Gold thread or something? So if I could find brand new sheet sets in the thrift store, you know I'm buying them. And then I will offer them to you guys at like half the cost. You know? I mean, are you kidding me? Wow. $60. I got myself a Buffalo Sabres uh, t-shirt. Yes, indeed. It's for me. My son better not touch it or I'm going to break his hands. Yes. It's mine. Um, I also got this for myself because I don't really have any um, any uh, Christmas shirts. So I got that for myself. Feeling jolly. Um, I also got this uh, Christmas stocking that I am going to use for crafting. Um, so that's why I picked it up because I could get a lot more out of one of these than I can out of a pair of socks if I want to make the sock snowmen or the, the sock gnomes. 
Um, these are much better. So that's why I bought that. Um, holy cow. Wait until you guys see this vintage moo moo or house dress or whatever you would like to call it. Mrs. Roper called and said she wants her dress back, okay? I'll insert a picture of me wearing this so you could get the full effect. <laughs> so do you guys think, is this like Mrs. Roper-esque enough for you guys? Like, check this out. Oh my God, I thought it looked like a shower curtain too, Tyler. Okay. These are the sleeves. They've got snaps. Oh my God, it looks like a vintage shower curtain that I got at an estate sale. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. And yep, I bought it to keep. Because I may wear, I may be Mrs. Roper next year for Halloween. Who knows? It's awesome. It smells. It's got old lady perfume on it. I could smell it. I don't know why I said old lady perfume. Because I'm an old lady and my perfume don't smell like that. That is for dang sure. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I got some purses. Look at this brand new Winnie the Pooh bag. It is brand new, never used. As you can see, it still has the plastic on the handles. This is a lovely bag. I think it is adorable. Look at the stitching. Jessica didn't want it, so this will be for sale. I got that lovely bag. I don't know what my ear is bothering me right now. Then I got this beautiful Vera Bradley uh, little wristlet wallet. This thing is in like, like new condition. Beautiful. It's got a couple, uh, three sections for your uh, debit cards or credit cards. Yeah, that is a nice little wristlet. Love the colors, too. Oh, my, my tree fell off of there. Get in there. Oh, what a mess. All right. Now, this purse is a Vera Bradley wannabe. But I love it. The colors are awesome. Look at how cute this purse is. Look at those colors. This purse is beautiful. It's made by Waverly. Waverly Inspirations. And it is gorgeous. It's got a big pocket on the side. It's got a zipper pocket and a regular pocket on the front. And then on the inside, it has a bunch of pockets on the inside as well. Just like how a Vera Bradley purse is made. Same thing. But it's not as, um, it's not as sturdy of a purse, okay? Um, but this is adorable. I love it. So I picked that up. And I also got... A Vera Bradley that is brand new with the tags. Look at that. Brand new with the tags. $48 retail price. Get over here. What a cute little purse. Brand spanking new. Love the blue on the inside. Mm-hmm. Too cute. 
Um, I also got uh, this coach purse. This is an authentic coach purse. It's in really great condition. It's got a, a snap closure. There's your coach uh, leather label. This is a nice purse. Very, very nice. There's your handle. Very good condition. It's got um, another magnetic closure here. Yes, indeed. This was a nice find. As was this. Check this out, guys. Michael Kors. This is a beautiful blue leather purse. The only issue that I saw on this purse, let me show you all, it is in fantastic condition. I know it's hard to see. And then it's got a zipper pouch over here. All the zippers work, I checked. Um, the only issue that I saw is this little, this little spot right there. That is it. This is gorgeous. And I found another relic purse. This one is in like, um, this is black. I found one of these in brown. Um, let me, that looks like the alligator. It's got the pockets on the other side, zipper pockets. It's beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic condition. The only issue that it has is one, one little boo-boo right there on the corner, on the bottom. That's it. Oh, and here. Which, you know, when women are very rough on purses, you know, so that is expected. But, I mean, other than those two little teeny-weeny little dots, this purse is... Fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. So, I hit the jackpot on purses that day. Then, I found these. So, I found four of them. My mother took the other two. Look at these lanterns. There were two large ones and two small ones with the galvanized top. So my mom took one large and one small, and then I got one large and one small. So that those were a fantastic find. I mean, you cannot go wrong, you know? Um, I don't know what happened with this corner piece here kind of screwy, but, huh, I wonder what happened. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. It came out. It came out. See, there's the little nail there. This is supposed to be down here. I might be able to fix that, but you know what? It's really not that big of a deal. So I was very, very happy to find those. So that is everything from uh, Goodwill, guys. I think I did really, really well. Um, I think I got a lot of great stuff. Uh, I don't know. You let me know what you think. Uh, you know, I like to hear your comments. So don't forget to leave me some comments below. All right. I think quickly I'm going to do the Salvation Army stuff. Let me just make some room here, and I'll be back with the end of the haul. Alrighty, guys, we are back for the Salvation Army portion of this thrift haul video. 
I spent a lot uh, at Salvation Army because I did pay up for some items. I spent $108.52. I'm going to just start off with, I got all these Christmas lights for next year. They had them all bundled up. They were $4.99 for the large bundles, which are these. And I did plug them all in. They all work. And then here was another large one. And then I got three uh, smaller bundles. And these were $3.99. So these are all getting put away for next year for outside. And... I also have to buy new icicle lights because if you remember, I mentioned that only about uh, this much on each end was working. So I have to get new icicle lights too. <laughs> what else is new? You test them, they work fine. You put them up and then they don't work. So that's just par for the course when you're decorating for Christmas, right? All right. Uh... I did find more of these stockings that I'll be using for crafting. And I got this one. So I got those three. I'm gonna put those right in the bag with the lights because those gotta go downstairs. Um, one of either one, it's either one of my fellow YouTubers or a subscriber friend collects vintage um, wedding cake toppers. And I found this one. So if you all know, if any of y'all know who it is that collects the vintage wedding cake toppers, let me know in the comments so that I can contact them and tell them that I have one for them. Look how cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I also got this vintage purse. Look at that. It's hard to see, but there's little flowers on there. And inside the tag says, handmade in Hong Kong. I just think it is so stinking cute. That's like a Liberace purse right there. Then I got this because y'all know how I put the solar lights in these and I hang them um, outside in the summertime. I put them in a plant, you know, a macra macrame plant hanger. Well, I, that's why I bought this so that I can do the same thing with this one. These, um old light covers. So I got that. I got this pair of Fenton praying girl and boy. They are just the white satin glass. This one still has the sticker on it. Why are you not focusing? What is happening? I don't know if it's the lighting. I'm going to have to ask Alex how, how she fixed the focusing on her camera. But anyways, I got those. Um, I got this gorgeous. This is uh, Eleanor China. This beautiful weeping gold vase. This is in perfect condition. Um, I just want to make sure there's no cracks, no chips. Um, it's gorgeous. And I also got this. This is another one. 24 karat gold. It matches this vase. 
So those were a great find. Um, this one just says uh, hand decorated. And I can't make out the the name on it. It's got a number 32. But yeah, so I picked those two up. I bought this vintage spoon holder because I know how people display their hankies. I've seen in these. I don't know exactly how they do it. But I just stuck them in there to give you an idea. But it is a vintage um, um, spoon holder. So I got that. Um, I also got, this is a, an Otagiri. I love, my mother found this. Look at this beautiful teapot. And it comes with the matching creamer and the sugar bowl and not a chip anywhere. There's the creamer. And here is the sugar bowl and it even comes with the little spoon. Look at that. Yep. What a gorgeous set. I love this. Otagiri. Uh, Mary Ann Baker, design. Mary Ann Baker, hand-painted Otagiri, Japan. There is the sticker. Oh, now it's focusing. All right, now it's focusing. All right. Um, then I got, this is a beautiful um, relic. Is it relic or fossil? Uh fossil purse. Now, it is not in perfect condition. It does have um, some wear on the corners. See that? But that could be, you could um, fill that in with black Sharpie and no one would know. See? Um, but it is fossil. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, it's got plenty of room on the inside, plenty of pockets. This is a beautiful purse. So I did get that. Um, I also got this. Look at this beautiful crystal tumble up. OMG. It is in perfect condition, no chips, flea bites, no cracks. It's gorgeous. Perfect. That is gorgeous. Um, now this I did pay up for. Uh, this is a Viking glass. Uh, the color is called Persimmons. This beautiful little candy dish. Gorgeous. So I did pick that up. I got this for my chicken and rooster lovers. Look at how cute. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's just some kind of a um, a covered dish. I don't know what these cats are doing. They're trying to get in the box over there that came in the mail for my son. Um, now, it does have a chip right here. Hang on, let me... See that? But that can be also can be touched up as well. If um, but it almost blends in where you really don't see it. So I mean, this is somebody's. Uh, I think it's somebody's ceramic project, but it's not. Um, it's, it's not signed or anything. This is cracked. Oh, it is cracked. 
It's got a hairline crack. See that right here? There it is. I knew it sounded funny, but you know what? Um, I'll put some, some crazy glue on that so that it doesn't crack any further. And I'll just sell this at a cheaper price. It is so stinking cute. I just love it. Um, I also picked up a couple vintage ornaments. Look at this. <laughs> How stinking cute is that? It's plastic. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And then I got this bell. Um, I'll, I'll use these um, in my assemblages or whatever. This I'll sell, but this I'll probably use in an assemblage vintage bell. Um, I also got this. Look at this, guys. This is somebody's ceramic project. Look at that. It is um, an Atlantic mold. It says on the back there. And I thought it was just awesome. And you could see it's quite large. So I picked that up. Um, oh my God, you know what, guys? I forgot to tell you, in my Goodwill haul, um, I bought my son two Buffalo Sabres hockey jerseys made by Reebok, okay? Um, and I, they were for Christmas, so I had to take them out of the haul, you know, before I showed them to you. They were $10 each, guys, and they were in, in brand new condition. So that was another two items that were in my Goodwill haul that I couldn't show you. Um, yeah, so I, I just remembered that. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, I feel like... I feel like there should be more stuff, but I don't know. Anyways, I also got this set of Home Co. Um, angels. They're, they're ornaments. I'm going to set them on this dish to show them to you. Hopefully, they're not going to fall down. But we're going to try. I don't know. It's probably not going to work out. <laughs> I'll just show you them like this. There's the first one. Then there's this one and this one. They're all holding something different and they're, they are home co. There's their label. And this is the last one, set of six. So we've got one holding a tree, one holding a lantern, one holding bells, one holding a flower, one has a gift, and one has a wreath. So I got all six of those. Um, and I guess that's everything, guys. Wow. Quite a haul, don't you think? Uh, I did clean house at the Goodwill, I got to say. I got some amazing stuff there, especially those two jerseys. Oh, and I also got myself um, a pair of uh, Christmas pajamas because I needed them when I did the pajama party with Scott, Vinny, um, Tammy, and Dave. So uh, those I also had to take out of the mix here. So I also got a pair of uh, Christmas PJs. <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, in one of my, my past Goodwill hauls, I can't remember which one it was, I purchased a little vanity for Winnie for when she gets older. So I will attach a picture of that in this haul video as well so you guys can see it. I only paid $5.99 for it, less 25%. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna repaint it. And it is so adorable. 
So I had, um, I had left it in the car, so I forgot to show it in the video. My bad. All right, guys. Well, I have blabbed long enough. Let me get going here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not. And hit that bell. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.